ramble here and ramble there I got some ramblers to share <laughs> Right here on air <laughs> Is it you? Yeah Welcome I got some area ramblers Today On the Boots and Ballads giveaway Hey everybody, Jeremiah Craig here. Welcome to Boots and Ballads. This is an Ariat Rambler edition, and you'll have to excuse me because I came down with a little bit of sickness yesterday. Can you believe it? The day before the live stream, even just the night before, like last night, I just got hit with this, I don't know, this probably the coronavirus. This is probably the last Boots and Ballads stream ever because I'm going to I'm just going to perish. No, I'm good. It's just my throat. I don't know what the deal is, but man, it's just, it, it like, it had to be today. Did it? it had to be today. So I'm a little raspy. So I won't be playing as much music as I usually do on Boots and Ballads. But hey, we're going to have fun either way. You know what I'm saying? Thank you so much for joining me today. Mm-mm-mm. Are you guys pumped? I'm pumped. I'm pumped. Let's see who we got in here. Yo, Moses is in here. Unethical Entertainment. Donald. Gunner. How's it going? Alejandro. Yari. Tegan is in the house. Tony Go. Governor Brown. Yo, what's up? How's it going? Dawson. Thanks for coming back in here. It means Johnny Cash covers, right? Yeah, I know. I was I was thinking, are there songs that I could actually get away with ha singing with a sore throat? But I figured I might as just well play it safe and just play one song because I have a brand new song out today. And in fact, I think we're going to start this thing off with just a, a small little giveaway for everybody who's on the stream early because... I think that's really fun. You guys were in here. You guys were waiting like 10 minutes in advance. I saw you guys chatting it up in the chat room here. So we're going to do a small little giveaway. I'm going to be giving away uh, a shirt. Yeah, that's right. Boots and Ballads shirt here. And also I have a, a boot wallet. You guys see that video where I put this in the uh, in the area at Planos? So you could probably put this in the Ramblers, maybe. We'll see. Um, and then I'll also be giving away a couple of CDs. So we're going to be doing that right now. So I'm going to put in the comment section, uh, every, you know, start commenting now, and then you just do a comment, just one comment. Um, you know, don't, don't spam the comment section or anything. But... Um, one comment to enter. Start now. Boom. Okay. So everything below that comment that I just did is 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 entered to win this little giveaway package that we're doing right off the bat here on the Ariat Rambler Boots and Ballads. So while you guys are commenting, I want to talk about a song that I just released today on Spotify iTunes, Apple Music, Amazon Music, Google Play Music, whatever you listen to, it's there. It's called Watch It All Burn from the Lake on Our Inflatable Sofa. <laughs> and this this cover art was made by Abe Martinez. I met him on Anchor. It's like a podcast app. And he's a cartoonist, so I contacted him and I said, hey, can you make this idea into an actual cartoon drawing for the album art? And he said, yeah, sure. So he did, and it turned out really good. So check that out. Check out that album art. So this is an apocalypse song. <clears throat> and it's all about, you know, just letting the world burn, you know. Screw it. Just let it burn. Let's just go out on the lake in our inflatable sofa, you know? <laughs> I got the idea for this song from this little abstract card that I did uh, with my wife when we were making invitations. And 
these all of these little designs that we were making ended up looking like things sort of like those Rorschach tests right and the one that we did looked like an inflatable sofa on a lake at least that's what it looked like to me so here's the song it's called watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa <clears throat> well I barely made it home everyone has lost control thanks to the earthquake and the mysterious plague but I believe it was a sign when I found what the looters left behind relax my love we will soon be safe so let's use all the air in our chests and simply float away from this mess <laughs> yes let's go out on the lake in our inflatable sofa and watch the world end i got some beer and trail mix to hold us over till it's safe to start again yeah. darling don't shed a tear the apocalypse is here but we can still grow older we can see it turn and watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. As we push off from the shore, we can see the world's at war thanks to how beautiful the sky is tonight The ash and clouds above our heads Reflects a yellow and a blood red From the cities on fire But out of sight So if it's going to be this way Let's try to win And find a good spot Throw the anchor in Yes, let's go out on the lake In our inflatable sofa And watch the world end I brought my fishing pole And a propane stove The bass don't know what's coming for them Darling, don't shed a tear The apocalypse is here But we can still grow older we can see it turn and watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. We can see it turn and watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. Watch it all burn from the lake on our inflatable sofa. You can hear that on Spotify, Apple Music, Google Play Music, Amazon Music, wherever you listen to music, you can hear it there. I hope you like that song, and you will like it even better when you hear it <laughs> on the recording, because I, I can actually sing it better. <laughs> all right, so we're stopping. We're stopping right now, and I'll announce the winner. All right, so there are 33 people in here, so I'm gonna do a random number generator. One out of 33. Boom, boom, boom. All right, here we go. Sixteen. Dennis Krobotsky, you got it. You got it. Congratulations, Dennis, on the giveaway for the t-shirt, the boot wallet, and some CDs. Dennis. Dennis Korbat is my say that right? Korbatsky. Dennis Korbatsky. Be sure to email me, jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com. And let me know your shirt size because I can get you your shirt size and your color like whatever color you want it doesn't have to be orange it can be like whatever color because this is my shirt i'm just using it as, as an example but congratulations dennis let's do some cheers where's my where's my control board ready congratulations dennis yeah, yeah! go dennis go 
go, Dennis, go. Ha <laughs> ha. I love that. Love that. Cheers. <laughs> Man, these boots and ballads are so fun. I wish I was, I wish my voice was better. I wish my voice was better. We could do, we could be having so much, so much more fun. But we're still having fun anyways. Yo. All right. All right. Yes, Dennis. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, Blue Face Cato says, Jeremiah, how do you know people won't try to scam you and act like Dennis? I've always wondered that too. Um, it's never happened. People are very honest. Um, you could try, but I don't see how it would work. <laughs> JT, the, 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 the entering is closed. Yes, it, it, I actually closed it this morning. It was supposed to close yesterday. But there's another giveaway in February. I could probably share that with you when we're done with this one. <clears throat> nobody nobody try to take Dennis's prize, okay? Dennis, that's for you. <laughs> Blueface, I see where I see where you're going with that. But come on, it's Dennis's. There's we're doing plenty more giveaways this year. <laughs> All right, cool. I appreciate you not trying. <laughs> All right. So before we do the giveaway, I wanted to get into some cowboy boot news with you guys since this is an Ariat giveaway and this story has a lot to do with Ariat so let's get into some cowboy boot news ready roll the intro oh man I forgot to take down the one thing wait a minute let me take down let me try that again all right we're, we're doing some cowboy boot news with Ariat here because this story has a lot to do with Ariat. Roll the intro, take two. <laughs> All right, so this week I found a story on Forbes about Boot Barn. Boot Barn is on track to double its retail footprint, buying up competitors along the way now this is a story that's relevant to this giveaway because Ariat is the number one seller at boot barn and it's it's the number one selling brand currently there are 251 boot barns in 33 states and uh, according to this article boot barn plans to expand that by double in six years. So they want over 500 stores in the next six to seven years. Now, I find it really interesting that they're doing so well because the move of businesses going to online, you know, direct to consumer, similar to the way that Tacovas is doing it, um, and they don't have any middleman. Boot Barn is the middleman, but they aren't having any problems at all. Like their online competitors are not affecting them. So it's really interesting to look at this story. In fact, foot traffic in store, so people going to their stores has actually increased year over year over year. It just keeps increasing. More and more and more and more people are going to Boot Barn to try boots. And they're getting people to go to their stores in a very traditional way, like they're focusing mainly on TV commercials and radio advertisements, which you would think wouldn't really work nowadays, but it's really working for Boot Barn. And I think part of the reason why people are going to Boot Barn is because it's really important to try on boots, right? Like we could talk about, oh, these are great priced boots online. You know, we could try these boots online and, and send them back all day long, but it's like there's something about the experience of actually going to a place, trying on a boot and saying, wow, this is really nice. This is exactly what I was looking for, or this is not what I was looking for, right? You get to go to a store, try a whole bunch of different brands, and find something that you're either surprised about or exactly what you were looking for. So they're doing really, really well, and they are continuing to grow and it's in their plan to grow that's why it was featured on Forbes which is pretty much a, a business website you know they cover business news and when I saw that Boot Barn and Cowboy Boots was covered on Forbes I was sort of surprised but 
Boot Barn is just doing so well because not only are they doing so much on the marketing end, but they're also buying up competitors. Like in 2015, they bought up Shepler's, which increased their boot stores from like 176 to over 200 boot stores. And they rebranded the actual store, but they kept Shepler's.com. And you can still go to Shepler's.com. It's just run by Boot Barn. They did that back in 2015, but they plan on continuing to do this over the next seven years. And they plan on buying up like smaller independent Western boot stores. It's a great business plan. And it works for them because those independent boot stores already have a customer base that visits those stores frequently. So they just buy up that store so that the people continue to go to that location to get their boots. It's just, it's just they go, instead of going to Sam's Boots, they go to Boot Barn, you know, and they just rebrand the place. Um, so there is something that's, it's, this is a great business plan. You know, it, it's great. This is America happening. But the thing is, as they continue to buy up places, sometimes the customer loses out in a sense. See, as Boot Barn buys up some of the independent stores, some smaller boot brands just disappear from those areas because maybe Sam's Boots carries a particular brand, maybe a smaller boot brand. And then Boot Barn comes in and buys up that location. That smaller boot brand can't supply Boot Barn with the amount of boots that they need as such a big retailer to fill all of their stores. So that means that they can't get in to Boot Barn. So for example, if Hondo, Hondo is a really good example. If you guys have been watching my channel for a little bit, you guys know I've learned about Hondo within the past year or so, and, and I've become quite a big fan of them. But the problem is, is that Hondo doesn't make a lot, a lot, a lot of boots. So Hondo is a boot brand that you can find pretty much in the independent brand stores. So when Boot Barn comes in and buys up those independent stores, Hondo disappears from those stores. So it's it's sort of a, a given, like it's good and bad. And Boot Barn doesn't need Hondo because they have brands that work for them and they have their own brands exclusive to Boot Barn, like Cody James. You can only find Cody James in Boot Barn or buy him online. And when those stores are bought, Hondo's removed. So they don't carry like any extra exclusive brands than the ones that they already do from store to store to store. So you kind of miss out on some of the extra little brands that might surprise you, sort of like Hondo surprised me when I went to the Country Square store in in Auburn, Washington, and I found Hondo for the first time. The, the, it, is, it was a very surprising brand, and those are the kind of surprises that, that you go to boot stores to experience. So it's, it's, it's not good or bad. It's just um, that there are positives and negatives with these things. You know, I wish Boot Barn the best, and I also wish Hondo the best. Ariat is going to really benefit from this. I mean, if they're the number one selling brand in Boot Barn and Boot Barn gets like 500 stores in the next six to seven years, they're going to be still the top selling brand selling so many boots. Um, it's going to be awesome. But what do you guys think? What do you think about the Boot Barn growth? Do you have brands that you like that aren't carried in Boot Barn? And you see that as sort of a negative as they grow? Or do you see it as a positive because you like Boot Barn and that's where you go to get your boots anyway? So let me know down in the comments. Like I said, it's not good or bad as far as I see it. This is just business, right? This is how business works. So let me know what you think. All right, now that we have that, let's do a boot check. I'm wearing the Ariat Planos today. Wearing the Ariat Planos. What are you guys wearing? Let's take another look at these Ramblers real quick. So here are the Rambler boots. Again, as you can see, been wearing them a little bit more. They're breaking in still. 
They still have a little bit more break, break, long break-in period. Long break-in period, just so you guys know. Yo, less competition means higher prices. That's a good point. Tony had Hondo snakeskin. Great, great, great. Blueface Cato says, Jeremiah, should you should do concerts across the country. Oh, I love it. I, I love going on tour. I've been on tour a couple times. In fact, you could see some of the videos that I did when I was on tour across country um, in, in a series right here on my channel called Expressway Balladeer, going from west to east, going down to Texas and doing some shows and stuff. It was a fun. It was a fun tour. Looking forward to going on tour again. Maybe this year we'll, we'll book a tour. We'll see how it goes. Oh, Dennis wanted my email again. It's jeremiah.craig at jeremiahcraig.com. I will put it in the comments here. All right. So with that, I think it's time to actually announce the winner of these Ariat Rambler boots. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? We ready for to announce the winner? I know this is going to be a shorter Boots and Ballads because my voice is absolute crap, but it just means we get to announce the winner sooner than usual. <laughs> yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Okay, so random number generator. Boom. Let's go. Let's go. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. I'm going to take this boot barn thing down. Streaming. Doo, 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 doo. Okay. All right. The winner of the Ariat Rambler boot giveaway is. <laughs> yes. Fernando Hernandez from San Francisco. Yo. Congratulations, Fernando. Winning the Rambler boots. Yes. I'm so happy that. You guys all entered. Congratulations to Fernando. Fernando, I will email you. Um, you don't have to worry about emailing me. I have your email because you um, entered it in the giveaway form. Uh, that's how I make sure that people don't get scammed on the big prizes, <laughs> on the shirts and the CDs. I, I trust people, but on the boots, we got to make sure that we do it and we do it right. So... I will email you, Fernando. Congratulations. Congratulations. Let's give a round of applause here. Whoa, yes. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Congratulations, Fernando. Congratulations. Oh, so much fun. So much fun. Wow. Okay, so I know some of you guys might be a little disappointed. But do not worry. Because I got giveaways scheduled through March. So I have a February giveaway and I have a March giveaway already lined up. Working on April still. But February is where it's at. Because, mm, oh guys, guys, <sighs> I'm not giving away one pair of boots in February. No, I'm not giving away two pair of boots in February. I'm giving away three pairs of boots in February. <laughs> we're doing a three boot giveaway in February. It's the shortest month of the year, but we're giving away the most boots. Guys, I am so pumped for February because three people are going to win a pair of boots. Oh, guys, guys, guys. Let me show you. Let me show you. <clears throat> Partnered with JW Boot Company for the next giveaway. Okay, JW Boot Company. So we're doing a giveaway for three pairs of boots. I'm going to be doing several videos throughout February um, looking at several different kinds of JW cowboy boots. And then at the end of February, probably on February 28th, we will be doing another Boots and Ballads giveaway. Now let me show you. Let me show you these, okay? 
Check it out. Blue ostrich. Blue ostrich. Okay. Now this is just one. If you win, you can choose what kind of boot you want. Okay. And the size and whatever you want. Like just go to jwbootcompany.com. You get to choose your boot. Get to choose your color. They're doing a whole bunch of like, like we're getting colors. So we're doing the review of the blue denim ostrich. Absolutely love this boot. So beautiful. So beautiful. And then we're going to be doing reviews of women's boots as well. We'll get my wife in on, on it and everything. So be sure to keep track of it. And I have a special discount code if you want to get in and get your own boots from JW early. Go to jwbootcompany.com and put in JC10 at checkout. You get 10% off your order. And I only have... Oh my gosh. And I only have 50. I only have 50 of those. So I only have 50 of those promo codes available. So be sure to get on it if you want it. My camera just died over here. So that's why I had to switch at the end here. All right, guys. Whew. Three giveaways. Three giveaways in February on the next Boots and Ballads. I am so pumped. Can't wait to have you there. Thank you so much for joining me. Be sure to keep a track of the channel because I'm going to be putting out the video probably, I think it was on the 13th. No, it might be the 16th. I might put out the first video on the 16th for the JW boot. Um, it'll probably be on the 16th. Oh, wait, what? that's the wrong month. Probably be on the 13th of February. So we're, we're going to be starting the giveaway on the 13th of February for the next one. And uh, yeah, so be sure to keep track of it. And then you'll know how to sign up. It'll be similar to this one. There'll be a form and everything. So whew, guys, we're getting into it. 2020 is going to be huge. Three boots in February. Let's get it. With that, I'm going to sign off because my voice is dying so fast <laughs> thank you so much for hanging out with me today even though my voice is pure crap you guys are the best i love your support and everything you guys are the reason why i'm able to do these giveaways so let's keep it going we just the channel just surpassed 6k 6k subscribers with this giveaway let's keep it going let's Spread the love of cowboy boots near and far. Let's go, guys. 2020, let's get it. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you guys, and I will see you around. Whew. You guys are the best. Peace, everybody. Have a good one.